Hey guys, this is Tully and welcome to Let's Play Fallout 3 Part 2. Uh, last time we left off, I had just escaped Vault 101, or I'm about to, I just have to walk through this door. Uh, I wanted to wait though and see what you guys had, or what opinions you guys had in terms of uh, where I had assigned my stats. I think pretty much the main uh, thing I got was that I need to put more points into intellect and I don't need to have 9 luck. So I knew about the bobblehead that increased my luck by 1, but also there's an item that I can hold that which will increase my luck by 1. Uh, so I need to find both of those, but then I can get up to 10, so I don't need to have 9. And then intellect increases the amount of skill points you get on every level up, which is super good in Fallout 3, so I need more intellect. Also, didn't need a point in strength because there's actually a perk to increase my carrying capacity, which is the whole reason I was thinking of putting a point in strength. So, gonna go with this instead. And then in terms of the tag skills, I think overall you guys thought that was okay. Um, I think speech maybe not as good as I think it is in this game, but I'm still gonna go with it and see what happens. I like having those extra options that I wouldn't be able to choose normally, and speech is one of those where if you have it, you get to have some more choice in some situations. Fallout 3 is so awesome. Look at this wasteland I walk into. Oh, I came to level already. Yeah, level up. Nice. Alright, so... I don't really remember how skills work. I think if I get to 50 science, that's good. Like, I think science... I can hack terminals based on my science skill, and it's like every 25... Points is another level of hacking I can do, so if I have 25 I can do a basic, if I have 50 I can do a more advanced, 75 is more advanced than that, and 100 is like master level hacking. Is that right? I don't quite remember. I'm going to do 50 science for now, and then small guns 21. Uh, some different perks, so this is giving me additional points towards science and medicine, additional points towards small guns and repair. Oh, ooh, a single point in special attributes. 10% uh, more damage to female opponents. Uh, skill points. So, 10% faster experience. I'm actually not a huge fan of this perk, or I'm not a huge fan of this perk, because I'm going to hit max level eventually anyways from wandering around the wasteland, and this perk is not going to be useful when I'm max level. So, better to take something that will be useful when I hit the end game. And then more skill points. Uh, seeing as I have high int, I don't really want the skill points. Uh, this will also give me some unique dialogue options. Could be useful. I'm going to go with intense training though. Get a point in that. And I don't need strength. I don't need perception. Don't need endurance. Don't need that. You know, this is going to increase my action points with VATS, which means I can use VATS more often and easier, which is going to make this game more entertaining, in my opinion, uh, and easier, because I can just go VATS and then, you know, more tactic-y, less trying to shoot stuff. I also think VATS is super cool, because I'm going to be getting a lot of crits, so I'm going to be doing some crazy shots. Uh, Megaton's right over there, so I guess we'll go there first. I definitely don't want to just do the main storyline, and I don't want to just go to all the normal places. I want to just wander around and find locations and see what, you know, over what's over the horizon. That's why, uh, in the end of the last part, I was saying that if you guys have any, like, you know, directions you want me to head in, like, at the end of a part, just let me know, like, head south next time, and then, you know, if a whole bunch of people want me to head south, I'll head south. I just want to randomly explore the waste and not really try and go anywhere. But before I can do that, I first have to get my home base so that I can store all the junk and have a place to sell all the junk that I find as I explore the wastes. Uh, so I have to do Megaton first, I think, just to get this out of the way. I thought that there was a door here. Maybe it's over this way a little more. I'm seeing a lot of friendlies on the screen. Oh, yeah. Whoa, the doors are opening. That is pretty awesome. Dead on end, Y'all enjoy your 
Thanks, cowboy robot. But first, let's see what's going on here. Good to see you. Welcome, sir or madam, to Crazy Wolfgang's traveling junk store. The depot of detritus, the shop of slop, and the caravan of crap. Now, what odds and ends can I, the craziest of all possible Wolfgangs, offer to you? Huh. Uh, I'm here to sell? I'm here to buy. Nothing Maybe that'll give me, yeah, that'll give me the ability to sell if I say that. And then... I can sell some of my junk, namely, probably all of these security uniforms. Um, say three. Maybe that'll leave me with two extra ones, which should be good for now, but they're pretty high weight, so I want to get rid of those. Maybe a couple of those. And then I think hang on to pretty much everything else. What do these jumpsuits do for me? So that one's at full durability. Those are not. And they all do the same thing. So let's kill these. Yeah, hang on to one just in case I need it for something. But Oh, I, I clicked left and now it's showing me specific items. But where do I get back to all? Can I get back to all? Yeah. Items. That's the all tab. Don't want to sell any weapons yet, I don't think. And then... Police batons? Oh, not seven. Eh, maybe seven. I don't think I need the police batons. I've got the baseball bat. Which I think is better? Yeah, better. Tunnel snakes, you outfit I probably want to hang on to. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's accept that and reduce a lot of my carrying capacity. Um, Crazy wolf. What do you actually have to sell? You Assuming you need the random Whoa. junk that I've got. I can't afford that, but that's cool. Some more stim packs might be useful. Well, uh, tell me about your trading caravan. I scour the wasteland for the very best pieces of trash, the height of detritus, and the veritable pick of the litter. It's all valuable to someone. And I always make sure to make my rounds through Canterbury Commons. Their mayor, Roe, always has a place for a clever junk man like myself. Huh. Map marker added. Nice. Can you repair something for me? No, I don't need to worry about that for now, I don't think. I have to go. Good luck out there. And maybe the next time, you'll find something interesting for me, huh? Well, seeing as I found that guy to sell junk to, I could just go wandering for a little bit before I go into Megaton, and I have some room to pick up some junk. What do you have to say? Uh, nothing. Okay. Uh, where is my map? It's in my pit boy, right? Yeah, world map. I can zoom out. Oh. Uh, zoom out and then where did he put that marker down to oh all the way over here yeah I don't think I want to wander that far uh, so I think actually the area of Fallout 3 that I've explored the least is here in the city I never really went to the city much I always kind of wandered around the edge of the map whenever I was exploring but I never really went much into the center or into the city. The city I always avoided because it always seemed lame. I know that there's like an entire ghoul part of this game which I have never seen before. Um, in fact the first time I beat Fallout 3 I didn't even go into the radio part of the story. I went to the boat by accident just wandering around then found well and you know stuff. I don't want to spoil everything but um, for some people who are watching Fallout 3 for the first time on this Let's Play, I feel like that's unlikely. Um, but, you know, just in case. Yeah, I'm going to wander around for a little bit. Whoa. Um, whoa, took off the bat. That's not what I meant to do. Ah, bats. Okay. Crits? No. Oh, yeah, crits. Nice. I got my crits, but still did not. Kill the dog. There we go. And dog meat. 
Uh, what I was trying to do while it was attacking me though was check. Yeah, so I've lost my inventory or my my quick switch because I was trying to switch the gun, but I couldn't. Let's try this one that's damaged and let's hotkey that to up. So down is melee, up is his gun. Probably should be able to use the baseball bat for a little while as I fight some of these random enemies nearby Megaton. They shouldn't be too difficult. I'm just gonna head west randomly and see what I find. If I remember correctly, the compass sh yeah the compass will show points of interest down below a little those little arrows. So the the solid one is a place I've been. Hollow is somewhere I haven't. So at this point, I'm not even close enough to anything where I could f see a point of interest worth going to. So I'm just gonna head in this direction. I forgot how much walking there was in the Fallout games. In part one, I had mentioned that I couldn't, I was like, where's the sprint button? And I think that's mostly because I've been playing a lot of Dark Souls and I'm used to having a sprint button to hold. And then you guys basically commented that there is no sprint and it's all based on weight and agility and not having the ability to sprint. I don't know. So I had just forgotten that it's just like you walk and whatever speed you're walking is your walk speed. And that's, I, it's a little weird coming back to this and not having the ability to just go, I want to go faster for a little bit. Oh, enemies. Let's go check that out. Oh, a couple enemies. Let's go gun just in case. What do we got down here? Oh, rad scorpions. Okay, this is not going to be good. Um, body or tail? Let's go body and just use all my AP. That was a crit, and I still barely hurt that thing. I'm gonna run out of ammo trying to kill this thing. I thought that I would find easy enemies nearby. Ah! No! Jump! Jump for safety! Jump for safety! Let's head down this road. Ah, they're still chasing me. Can I get up on a rock, maybe? Ah! No, my health is low. My health is low. Can I jump? No, jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Awesome. Oh, I also see some more points of interest down this way. Also gunfire? There's a lot of enemy icons. Let's go into my inventory and then use a stim. Oh, that seemed to work pretty good. Those rad scorpions are attacking that bandit, maybe? Aha! I win now, scorpions. Oh, shoot. Where'd they go? Stop hiding behind that rock. I can't shoot you back there. Slowly killing rad scorpions. Okay, let's try and just get this last one by dropping down. Yeah, it has next to no health left. It's totally confused. It doesn't understand. Crit. Nice. But again, on these guys, it didn't seem like crit was really doing much. Get some poison glands, which are worth a fair amount of money. And then go loot some more enemies. Yeah, what do we got here? Some bandits, some raiders. Uh, new type of weapon. Oh, flamethrower. Yeah, where did I wander into? Just walked a little ways from Megaton and all of a sudden it's all this crazy stuff. Uh, that's high weight armor, but let's pick it up. If I need to, I can always drop it. Was it just two raiders that these rad scorpions killed? Oh no, there's another one over here. Ooh, a knife. Melee weapon. And then some blast armor, which is low condition. All right. I don't think I get over encumbered until I'm actually over 200, so I should be fine holding all of this weight. And then... What button to reload? Uh, that's my pit boy. Oh, X. Okay. Cool. Did I actually get Megaton on my, uh, my fast travel? Did I get close enough for that? Uh, I did not. Alright, well, I can just fast travel back to Vault 101 when I'm done wandering around here. And that should be relatively quick to get back to uh, Megaton. 
go sell some more junk and then continue on. Basically, at the point in which I need to start storing stuff is when I have to do the Megaton storyline in order to get a place to store items. Friendly radio robot. That's cool. Uh, this location or this location? I have no idea which one is further away. That requires me going down. Let's follow the road. What's going on in town? Maybe I'll just stop and wait for the bus. I'm tired of walking. No? You know, it might be quicker just to walk. This is a cool town. Where am I? Huh. Oh, more bandits. Uh, do I have anything? Pip-Boy pauses the game, right? So I can just take forever looking in here. Do I have anything with longer range? Because there's not really a way to tell the range of a weapon in here. That sounds pretty good. Just put that on left. And, yeah, that's not going to do it. A little better? Let's see if I just move forward. Ah, he got a hit. And then, yeah. Headshots? Crippled. Just can't get a hit. Your weapon is in poor condition and can do more damage if repaired. You can repair it in your Pip-Boy or by visiting a vendor to repair it yourself. You need to use parts from a similar weapon. Oh, right! I forgot all about that element of this game. In fact, I probably shouldn't have sold all of the vault security because it would have made more sense to just... Oh, I need 35% skill needed. Oh, I need to put points in skill in order to use that effectively. But I could have done that for the the security armor if I had have hung on to it. Yeah, it's probably fine. Whoa! I forgot about the stacking items into each... each like, breaking items down into uh, similar items in order to increase their usefulness. Ah! I'm looking at the weird great thing, bandit. Raider. Get out of here. Come on, crit. I just need to hit. No, come on. Where are my crits? Whoa. Whoa! I don't know what exploded. Wait, did I not hit quick save at any point during that? Oh no! Fallout 3, I'm still remembering how to play. So I've literally made no progress. Well, that's part 2 in which nothing happened of actual importance because it, I just died and it undid all of it. So, uh, I'm gonna stop here. Uh, next time We'll try again and probably do the same thing. I might cut out some of it. I might just run back to Megaton, sell off some of those items or not. I don't know. Thoughts would be nice. And then probably head over that way again and just wander and see if I can figure out what's in that zone. Just because I got there, maybe I try and go there. Or maybe I go do Megaton if you guys have thoughts. I, I don't know. This is fun. But it's a shame that I had forgotten to hit quick save at any point there. Um, for now, though, this is Tolhi signing out. Later, guys.